Hey, how's it going, everyone? This is Barbie Gear Space Palm. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I post two or three MLB 9 innings videos a week. I have three different teams one at 86 OVR, another at 93, and this one here at around 101. Today, as you guys can see by the title, I'm going to be opening up 21 of these team select packs and three diamond packs. I mean, I was originally thinking of doing 20 and 2, but. As you guys probably know, team select pack openings can be pretty long and boring if you don't pull anything. So, I mean, that was my thoughts there. So, the reason I'm opening up the team select packs in this video is because I don't think I have another... Because I don't think I have enough packs to just do a full pack opening, so that's just my thoughts. And then I, again, I can bring you guys the full pack opening for Tuesday's video. And depending on how the event's going, I might be able to have a diamond team select pack by then. I'm not really sure. And yeah, the reason why I don't have enough packs is due to Tuesday's storm. I just got power back this morning. Today is it's Friday evening when I'm recording this. So let's see how these packs go here. And yeah, I mean, maybe see the diamonds. I think I saw a diamond the first time I did one of these. It was Adam Conley. Leaf pitcher, of course. Yadio Rivera. Nothing's gonna help me. He doesn't have any good Marlins cards, and that is his. And he's currently not on the Marlins, so not a chance for anything better. Another silver here. Awesome, Adam Conley. So we can use that to upgrade the reliever card of Conley I have. And yeah, going back to the storm. Also, the internet was down in my area, so it didn't have that back till this morning as well. So I wasn't able to even use data on my phone to farm. And I mean, no Wi-Fi for my farming device, so... A bit of a break for LB innings, which is going to be good from time to time. We pull on Austin Dean. Going Marlins here. Let's see who we get. And Tehran Guerrero. Alright, so I do have a Guerrero diamond I can upgrade. Again, lower OVR card, but I think the one I currently have is at 16 out of 18, so maybe get him to 20. That'd be pretty cool, honestly. Another silver. Still looking for a first gold. Peter O'Brien. Not sure if he has any decent Miami cards. I'd have to check. I think we have one more. And then the diamond pack, or the first diamond pack. So let's see. Oh, we do get a gold. Very happy with that. And, and uh, it's Eliezer Hernandez. That's what it is. So 62 base. I actually do have a live diamond card of his. He was originally a relief pitcher, and then he switched to starting pitcher, so I had to remove him from my bullpen in my rank lineup. And so we do have some upgrades. So first this Conley, 59 base, but hey, I mean, just for fun, why not? It's a live card too, so really anything could happen. I do believe I did have a Hernandez. Oh, maybe I don't? That's weird. I'll have to go check that. So if we do have a Guerrero we can use, and awesome, we do get him to 20. 61 base, I mean, not too rare of a card, but he's definitely a decent candidate for my long leader spot. Okay, so there is that Hernandez I was looking for. And yeah, he was changed to a starting pitcher. I believe he kept his same stats too, so. Definitely interesting. Don't think he'd make my lineup as a starting pitcher, but hey, maybe he goes back to the bullpen. See something out of him this year. And so yeah, let's start off with that first diamond pack of ours and see how that goes. So who knows, maybe we get a uh, primer vintage out of one of these diamond packs. Make sure to use one instead of using ten. And yeah, so it is a diamond for those who are unaware. Now that's annoying, just something I like to say and yeah, let's see who it is. So I believe this is Nick Cuevas or... Nico Cuevas? Nick Cuevas? Noel Cuevas, so I was completely wrong. Barrel it up, Ace Killer. Definitely an interesting skill set. And so, doesn't look like Barrel it up would help him much. 
his base run stats, which I'm assuming his speed isn't that high, but I mean, hey, special training material for my Smith. I've actually been playing really solid at rank this past week, so hey, I mean, hopefully get Smith up to six at the end of this video and get him those diamond skills. Another gold here, so let's see. Another Enrique Hernandez. There's, why do I keep saying Enrique Hernandez? That's Kike Hernandez on the Dodgers. It also does have Marlins cards, or one Marlins card. But this is Eliezer Hernandez. And so we have some more upgrade material there. And so let's open our second one in this set. See how we do. Again, upgrade material would be very nice. And again, it's a silver... And another Conley. I think we also pulled that Conley 16. If not, it's deja vu right now, but I'm pretty sure we pulled both of those guys. So that, again, is pretty funny. I mean, but there are a little more rounds on that to pull out of these packs, but maybe we're just going to pull the same guys. We get another Conley, which is, again, funny. Our third Conley, really? So let's open up another few here. See how we do. And yeah, I mean, had that big update Thursday, I think it was. So I think a total of 90 something players were added into the game. Were added back into the game. We pull another gold here. And a way in Chen. So again, that's upgrade material. I have this same exact 16 Chen except in Diamond. So some upgrade material there. I think the Chen I currently have is maybe. At level 14 or 16. So, oh, another gold here. Wow. For some reason, I thought that was silver. I'm not sure why. And yeah. Get the Phelps. So, 66 base. David Phelps. I might as well hold on to that. I mean, 66 base isn't anything spectacular, but it's definitely worth holding on to. So it looks like the last four team select packs and the dime pack open cut out. But I will open up some more to make up for that. I really don't know what's going on on my end. So we're going to open up two more team select packs and then open up a another diamond pack. See how we do. Out of the upgrades I did from the last round of packs. Don't think I got anything. Maybe. Oh, do get another Eliezer Hernandez. But I don't think I got anything outside of that Chen. That I used to upgrade the Chen I had. So that's just really quick summary there. Haven't had difficulty with my screen record in a while as we pull a Rodney that can be used as upgrade material, but I guess it just decided to act up now. So I'm not sure if I mentioned it before in the clip that before that cut out, but here's this Alcantara I was talking about 66 base and mess and touch. So I was wondering if you guys think this is worth developing. I mean, 63 and 65 location velo is really kind of hard to overcome. And even with the team boost, I'm not sure the skills would carry him over. So yeah, I mean, let's open up that diamond pack. And yeah, let's see who we get. Out of the one that cut out, we pulled on Ian Kennedy, 60, 71 base, I think. So definitely a solid card. Opening up this one, we do pull a Chapman, 66 base, mass and stability is, I guess, kind of useless. I don't know how it works, actually. Location and break stats. So if your catcher is low fielding, maybe those improve. So maybe that could be really helpful for uh, somebody who's running a offensive catcher. So there's that diamond pack there. And so yeah, let's quickly do those upgrades. Actually... Pull a decent amount of upgrade material that time around. I pulled a Silver Adini at Faria in the clip that cut out, so didn't really miss anything there. Fortunately, the Rodney does not upgrade, and thankfully, that Faria does. 110 fielding is pretty funny. Maybe he's a guy that if I choose a skill change in the future, barrel it up might work. Well, for him, thankfully, Hernandez finally upgrades. I think took 
two golds that didn't do anything, and now we actually get something, so I'm thankful for that. And yeah, so now let's open up our last seven. See, maybe something here. Again, upgrade material would be nice if I don't pull anything I really need. So, Miggy. Can't complain about that. 67 base, but it's got those awesome base hitting stats. So, very nice pull. If I ever pull a Miguel Cabrera, I mean, they go for crazy noxion, even the Miami ones. But if I pull a Miami Cabrera, wow. <laughs> Jeff Conan. So that's my second, actually. That's really funny that we pulled him. Wow. <laughs> kind of uh, took my words away right there, but 68 base. Absolutely a beast of a card. And wow. But yeah, I mean, back to the Cabrera after we pulled that Conan. I mean, they go for close to 10,000, and the auction house is usually around 7 or 8. K stars and I mean open up all these diamond team select packs I'm not sure that would be too worth the investment and the Anderson I have currently has slugger and sticking charisma which is arguably the top offensive skill set in the game and so yeah even if I did pull a Cabrera I'm not sure if it would be worth all the coins and skill changes it would take to make him a usable card in our lineup so we pull another 10, some more upgrade material there, let's open up this one right here, and another silver, alright, Ryan Stanek, spelled R-Y-N-E, Ryan, hopefully I pronounced that clearly enough, and he's another guy I would love to pull in, diamond, and so yeah, we have two more team select packs to open, hey maybe we see something out of these and it's a silver here Garrett Cooper it's a great picture he has right there and opening up the last one see how we do and there's a silver but let's see and another Peter O'Brien so hey I mean didn't pull any big name guys outside of that Conan but Still pulled some pretty decent players overall. So let's quickly lock that Conan. Sort by time, most recent. Yeah, let's lock him. Don't want to accidentally use him as upgrade material. And yeah, let's see what we have here. So we do have this Chen again. And unfortunately, the upgrade fails, but not to worry. And. Let's see, maybe we have somebody else, another Hernandez? Doesn't look like we do, so without further ado, let's open up that final diamond pack of the video, and then I will throw all of the diamond players I pulled into my Caleb Smith. So let's see how we do out of this one. And so let's see. And a, I want to say Shedlong. Okay, Shedlong, I did get that right. Not a great card overall wise, but it would definitely be good for a Mariner's deck. And so yeah, we pulled some decent upgrade material. We did pull a team vintage, which is around one in two hundred odds. Fortunately we did not pull a Miami Prime, which I mean any of them would I guess would have been a GI for me. All except for that stand because I, he is pullable in his twenty seventeen card. Regardless, but yeah, let's go over to my players and let's throw all the cards that we're not going to need into my oh well there's my smith and so i think we're going to be just short don't believe dean has any cards that i'd like to keep yeah let's throw that long in throw that fulton Davidson. also throw that smith in cuevas chapman I guess this candy. I don't know. He's pretty decent, but throw these guys in. Oh, we actually do have a lot of XP ups to use. But yeah, it looks like we will be able to get him up to level 6. Get him some cool skills. Sorry, diamond skills. I mean, I wouldn't want... It says goal level skill. 
level six skill there, so that messed me up a little bit. And so yeah, I mean, throwing these golds enough to get us to level six, and yeah, get him that blue skill. Cleaning up your mess. Piano is actually working really well for me currently. And so yeah, I'm gonna brag him to chat. And yeah, I mean, been a really solid skill set for me. as the top non Pavano Mammy pitcher. Very proud of that card. And so yeah, I mean, different kind of video for everybody today. Let me know what you guys think about it. I mean, it's not something that I'm gonna do normally. Maybe once every, once every month or two. Just something to throw in there so I can get through these and hopefully pull something solid. But I mean, yeah, just let me know your feedback down below. I mean, I know these videos don't normally do too well, but I mean, I figured I'd give you guys the option of something to watch. I mean, just to give you guys some content. I mean, I know some of you might have been expecting something, so there's my reasoning behind it. But yeah, I mean like to thank everybody for watching. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video.